Egzamin maturalny. Język angielski. Zakres podstawowy. Wysłuchaj dokładnie informacji dotyczącej tej części egzaminu. Rozumienie ze słuchu trwa 20 minut i składa się z trzech zadań. Zadania te sprawdzają umiejętność rozumienia wypowiedzi rodzimych użytkowników języka angielskiego. Usłyszysz nagranie, które zawiera zarówno teksty, jak i polecenie do poszczególnych zadań. Każdy tekst zostanie odtworzony dwa razy. W czasie nagrania przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z treścią zadań oraz ich rozwiązanie, sygnalizowane dźwiękiem Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz natomiast dźwięk Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania zgodnie z usłyszanymi poleceniami w czasie słuchania tekstów oraz w trakcie trwania przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie rozmowę przewodnika w zoo z osobą odwiedzającą to miejsce. Zaznacz znakiem X, które zdania są zgodne z treścią nagrania T, true, a które nie F, false. Okay, are we all together? Right. Next we're going to look at the llamas. But actually, here we have three different animals which are all from South America and all related to camels. Llamas, which you have probably heard of, are over here. And over there, alpacas and guanacos. Llamas and alpacas are both domesticated animals and guanacos are wild. Llamas are very sociable animals that live together in herds. Don't they spit at people, though? Well, yes, they can. But if you treat them properly, they are not likely to. They respond well to being trained in this respect, and they are usually gentle and curious. So, over here you can see the alpacas. The alpaca is famous for its wool, which is much softer and warmer than sheep's wool. There's a big demand for alpaca wool from the fashion industry. And, lastly, we have the guanacos. They are capable of surviving at over 4,000 meters in the Andes. When they are in the desert, they survive by licking the water of the cacti and other desert plants. Right. Any questions? I think I can hear this llama making a noise. Ah, yes. That could be the llama humming. They don't open their mouths, they just make this strange noise. They hum when they are stressed, or the opposite, feeling relaxed. Can llamas live in the UK? Yes, there are quite a lot of llamas and alpacas in the UK. They adapt very well to our climate. They make good pets, and sometimes they're used for trekking. You can go on a picnic and use a llama to carry your food. Cool, I want to do that. And sometimes farmers use them as guard dogs. I mean, guard llamas. The adult males will protect sheep and hens from animals that might attack them, like dogs or foxes. They're really useful animals. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Okay, are we all together? Right. Next we're going to look at the llamas. But actually, here we have three different animals which are all from South America and all related to camels. Llamas, which you have probably heard of, are over here. And over there, alpacas and guanacos. Llamas and alpacas are both domesticated animals and guanacos are wild. Llamas are very sociable animals that live together in herds. Don't they spit at people, though? 
Well, yes, they can. But if you treat them properly, they are not likely to. They respond well to being trained in this respect, and they are usually gentle and curious. So over here you can see the alpacas. The alpaca is famous for its wool, which is much softer and warmer than sheep's wool. There is a big demand for alpaca wool from the fashion industry. And lastly, we have the guanacos. They are capable of surviving at over 4,000 meters in the Andes. When they are in the desert, they survive by licking the water of the cacti and other desert plants. Right. Any questions? I think I can hear this llama making a noise. Ah, yes. That could be the llama humming. They don't open their mouths. They just make this strange noise. They hum when they are stressed, or the opposite. Feeling relaxed. Can llamas live in the UK? Yes, there are quite a lot of llamas and alpacas in the UK. They adapt very well to our climate. They make good pets, and sometimes they're used for trekking. You can go on a picnic and use a llama to carry your food. Cool! I want to do that. And sometimes farmers use them as guard dogs. I mean, guard llamas. The adult males will protect sheep and hens from animals that might attack them, like dogs or foxes. They're really useful animals. Przenieś rozwiązania na kartę odpowiedzi. Zadanie drugie. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie cztery wypowiedzi dotyczące miejsc zamieszkania. Do każdej wypowiedzi od 1 do 4 dopasuj właściwe zdanie od A do E. Wpisz rozwiązania do tabeli. Uwaga! Jedno zdanie zostało podane dodatkowo i nie pasuje do żadnej wypowiedzi. Tekst pierwszy. One of the main things about living at home is the familiarity. Living with your family is really comfortable. You know everyone well, you've lived with them your whole life, so you're in a routine. Also, most of the time, you don't have to pay rent. So it's a lot cheaper, and this is something that affects a lot of young people's decisions not to change their place of residence. Tekst drugi. For me, moving out of my parents' house was a huge challenge, but it's a good thing in life to try and challenge yourself. I have my own space and I am definitely more independent. Another great thing about it is that I live with my friends and it's a lot of fun. Also, we split the bills, which makes the costs of living much lower. Tekst trzeci. Well, The people living here like to have fun from time to time, but they do spend most of their time studying. There are no pets in the house, and as you can see, the place is clean, since they have a cleaning rota. There are three people living here currently, and all of them are students. The rent's $200 per month, excluding the bills. Let me give you a quick tour of the shared spaces and the free room so you can make a decision. Tekst czwarty. Four years ago, I was living in a boarding house with more than 20 girls. And last year, I lived in a uni house with five girls. Now I find myself living alone 
And finally, I can get away with doing things that I couldn't do when I lived with other people. I can dance as ridiculously and sing as loudly as I want to. And no one is here to tell me to be quiet or to capture these embarrassing moments on camera. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Tekst pierwszy. One of the main things about living at home is the familiarity. Living with your family is really comfortable. You know everyone well, you've lived with them your whole life, so you're in a routine. Also, most of the time, you don't have to pay rent. So it's a lot cheaper And this is something that affects a lot of young people's decisions not to change their place of residence. Text drugi. For me, moving out of my parents' house was a huge challenge. But it's a good thing in life to try and challenge yourself. I have my own space and I am definitely more independent. Another great thing about it is that I live with my friends and it's a lot of fun. Also, we split the bills, which makes the costs of living much lower. Text trzeci. Well, the people living here like to have fun from time to time, but they do spend most of their time studying. There are no pets in the house, and as you can see, the place is clean, since they have a cleaning rota. There are three people living here currently, and all of them are students. The rent's $200 per month, excluding the bills. Let me give you a quick tour of the shared spaces and the free room so you can make a decision. Text czwarty. Four years ago, I was living in a boarding house with more than 20 girls. And last year, I lived in a uni house with five girls. Now I find myself living alone And finally, I can get away with doing things that I couldn't do when I lived with other people. I can dance as ridiculously and sing as loudly as I want to. And no one is here to tell me to be quiet or to capture these embarrassing moments on camera. Przenieś rozwiązania na kartę odpowiedzi. Zadanie trzecie. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie sześć tekstów. Z podanych odpowiedzi wybierz właściwą, zgodną z treścią nagrania. Zakreśl literę A, B lub C. Text pierwszy. John, you're still not answering the phone. Are you going to take your car? If you do, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right. I hope this was clear. Now, if you're taking a bus, you can get number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. I can't wait to see you. 
Tekst drugi. How did it go? Mm, I think it went quite well. I did a lot of research before. They kept me there for, oh, I don't know, half an hour. And? What did they say? Nothing much. At the end, I asked them what happens now, and the woman said, we'll call you back with the news in three or four days. Really? Yeah. I think I've got the post. There weren't a lot of other people there. I was the only applicant that day, you know. Well, good luck with it. Text trzeci. Anyway, you were saying... Oh, yeah. So, I was in the museum, and there were probably a hundred people there waiting to get into the room. Finally, I got in, and I tried to see the Mona Lisa, but I couldn't look at it. Why not? Because the room was filled with people taking photographs of it. And selfies. Wait a minute. You can take photos while you're in there? Yes, but you can't use flash. I don't know. Why do we take photos of everything we see when we travel? I know. And we never look at the photos afterwards. Exactly. I'm tired of always taking photos. I don't feel I'm enjoying things then. Text czwarty. This is a London underground service to Liverpool Street. The next station is Liverpool Street. Upon arrival, the first set of doors will not open. Travellers in the first carriage, please move towards the rear doors to leave the train. The next station is Liverpool Street. Change here for Central Line, Circle Line, Hammersmith and City Line and Metropolitan Line and Main Line Suburban Rail Services. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. This train terminates at Redbridge. Text Pionty. Morning, Bob. Oh, good morning. It's so rainy today. The autumn weather in England is horrible. Oh, the weather was even worse when I lived in Canada. One winter it was so windy that I fell on the ice and broke my leg in three places. Oh no, you're joking. I wish I was. But it's not all bad. I met my wife at the hospital. She was the doctor who looked after my leg. It was love at first sight. And we're still in love 20 years later. So, in the end, breaking your leg was the best thing that could have happened. Yes, I suppose it was. Text Schuster. Do you have the tickets for the play? No, I'm going to buy them this afternoon. Oh, good. Listen, don't buy the tickets for this Friday. I can't go to the theatre. Something's come up. I have a concert. You did this two weeks ago, remember? I had cinema tickets, and you changed the plans then too, for band practice. We also missed my favourite dance group, because your band was playing at some child's birthday party. It was my nephew's birthday. OK, listen, why don't we go out for dinner before my concert? Then, next Friday, we can go to see the play. OK, but promise me next Friday, OK? I promise, I promise. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Tekst pierwszy. John, you're still not answering the phone. Are you going to take your car? If you do, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right. I hope this was clear. Now, if you're taking a bus, you can get number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. I can't wait to see you. Text drugi. How did it go? Mm, I think it went quite well. I did a lot of research before. They kept me there for, oh, I don't know, half an hour. And? What did they say? Nothing much. At the end, I asked them what happens now, and the woman said, 
We'll call you back with the news in three or four days. Really? Yeah. I think I've got the post. There weren't a lot of other people there. I was the only applicant that day, you know. Well, good luck with it. Text trzeci. Anyway, you were saying... Oh, yeah. So, I was in the museum and there were probably a hundred people there waiting to get into the room. Finally, I got in and I tried to see the Mona Lisa, but I couldn't look at it. Why not? Because the room was filled with people taking photographs of it. And selfies. Wait a minute. You can take photos while you're in there? Yes, but you can't use flash. I don't know. Why do we take photos of everything we see when we travel? I know. And we never look at the photos afterwards. Exactly. I'm tired of always taking photos. I don't feel I'm enjoying things then. Text czwarty. This is a London underground service to Liverpool Street. The next station is Liverpool Street. Upon arrival, the first set of doors will not open. Travellers in the first carriage, please move towards the rear doors to leave the train. The next station is Liverpool Street. Change here for Central Line, Circle Line, Hammersmith and City Line and Metropolitan Line and Main Line Suburban Rail Services. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. This train terminates at Redbridge. Text Pionte. Morning, Bob. Oh, good morning. It's so rainy today. The autumn weather in England is horrible. Oh, the weather was even worse when I lived in Canada. One winter it was so windy that I fell on the ice and broke my leg in three places. Oh no, you're joking. I wish I was. But it's not all bad. I met my wife at the hospital. She was the doctor who looked after my leg. It was love at first sight. And we're still in love 20 years later. So, in the end, breaking your leg was the best thing that could have happened. Yes, I suppose it was. Text Schuster. Do you have the tickets for the play? No, I'm going to buy them this afternoon. Oh, good. Listen, don't buy the tickets for this Friday. I can't go to the theatre. Something's come up. I have a concert. You did this two weeks ago, remember? I had cinema tickets and you changed the plans then too. For band practice. We also missed my favourite dance group because your band was playing at some child's birthday party. It was my nephew's birthday. OK, listen. Why don't we go out for dinner before my concert? Then, next Friday, we can go to see the play. OK. But promise me next Friday, OK? I promise, I promise. Przenieś rozwiązania na kartę odpowiedzi. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął. Sprawdź, czy wszystkie rozwiązania zostały przeniesione na kartę odpowiedzi. Następnie przystąp do wykonywania pozostałych zadań.